2024 is off to a deadly start in Japan, where a desperate search for survivors is underway after a powerful 7.6 magnitude earthquake struck the country. It was followed by a series of aftershocks, causing buildings to collapse, sparking massive fires, and cutting off power to tens of thousands. Officials say at least four people were killed. It was just after 4 p.m. when the building started to shake. The images, items plunging off store shelves, the sign swaying above a shaking train platform, and the video showing roads buckling. All of it as massive waves began to form, triggering tsunami warnings. Nearly 100,000 people ordered to evacuate. Our Megan Fitzgerald has been following it all, and she starts us off tonight. This is the moment the dangerous and powerful earthquake struck. Rocking this train platform, violently shaking homes. Residents inside grabbing on to whatever they could as the ground beneath them shook. At this store, people fled as food tumbled from shelves. The quake also sparking this massive fire in Wajima. Tonight, officials say at least four people are dead as rescuers search the rubble for more people trapped in their homes and under buildings. The magnitude 7.6 quake, the strongest of several to strike the western region of Japan. Everybody was, was panicked that time. Wow. Johnny Wu shot this video in Nagano, where he was visiting to snowboard. You can see all the snow from the electric wire goes down and also from the roof go down. Soon after the earthquake, Japan issued a major tsunami warning with initial fears that waves could top 16 feet. Nearly 100,000 people told to evacuate and seek higher ground. <laughs> that warning now downgraded. <laughs> but officials are urging people to stay away for their own safety. It was the first major tsunami warning since the massive 2011 quake and tsunami that killed nearly 20,000 people. Tonight, the nation now facing the aftermath of another powerful quake. Tens of thousands are without power, and roads in the region are cut off. This woman documenting the damage in her neighborhood. We're in serious trouble, she says. Please come help us. All right, Megan joins us now live. Megan, we saw there in your report with so many roads collapsed. How will relief supplies get in? Well, Tom, the Japanese prime minister is uh, directing the nation's uh, disaster relief. He has deployed the military and is also using boats to get supplies to those in need. Thanks for watching. Stay updated about breaking news and top stories on the NBC News app or follow us on social media.